it, it came from up there. So I'm really glad that we weren't outside when this thing came down. But it chopped our hook for Sophia in half. It chopped that in half. So we got all these branches here that broke off. That's like two thirds of the shrub. I'm so upset, but it just means, look at this. We just literally chopped it off. I'm glad some of it is still standing because it'll come back and it'll just grow back in. But this is three or four years worth of growth. But it just means we're gonna make Prasithia babies. Okay, our little pot is really full. Okay, we're putting it to all of our other Forsythia babies and I'm thinking this pot can take a little more. Now, I have so many that some of the bigger branches I'm just gonna stick into water. I guess I feel bad for them, but. Okay, so we got a crazy bucket with Forsythia sticking out. We got a sand bath with lots of forsythia tiny branches we got these random wild pots with forsythias that are just stuck in there made sure the soil is nice and wet and we got all these forsythias oh i didn't stick anything more in there ha enjoy your singular pot even though well now you're still alive okay now look at that tomato baby there Woo! it's growing nice that's the mother plant Okay. All right. Good luck, everybody. Found some more on the lawn and they're all going in that tiny pot. Woo! Okay. Our forsythias are getting a water bath. The others are in very wet soil. Thank you, Diana, for watering our tomato. And now we got all this craziness set up and nothing went to waste. Wait, wait. Up. Oh. What is this? Is this the life? Yes, it is. You can see it. Tiny green shimmer there. It's still alive. It's going in the sandbox. Okay, boop. All right. Good luck, everybody. I'm so sorry for the traumatic experience. 